to welcome. Uh, we are so happy to see uh, Mr. Sopi. And I know that beside you is Greg, even though I can't see him right now. <laughs> and of course, Dr. Kittel, uh, Reverend Yutaka, and John. So thank you. And let us begin with a prayer. Maybe I'll do the honors. <laughs> let me pray. <laughs> Sarang Hasinan Hanil Puminim Chanjin Sham Puminim Kamsahamida. We are so grateful that we have this chance to be together, though it is virtually, but our hearts are bonded together in your love and your guidance and protection. We also pray that you protect all your children throughout the world uh, and let everyone go through this uh, COVID pandemic sa safely and that it will quickly finish so that we can also meet again uh, physically. We also pray for the protection of our true mother's uh, health and her long life, also for uh, Mr. Sobi's family, and that the words that uh, John will be sharing today can be really uh, your words, Father, and express your heart and your providence as you are working to restore all humankind. We report all this in the name of David and Ursula McLachlan of a blessed central family, Aju. 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 So, without much ado, uh, let us invite Reverend John to give the presentation today. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. I'll just uh, share the screen and before I actually start, uh, I've uh, got mm. a special message from uh, uh, Dr. Yong. So oh. Dr. Yong, I just received this from Reverend Yutaka yesterday, and this is a, a special greeting for Dr. Yong. doesn't go too long, so we'll, we'll start with that. And, uh, okay. Mr. Sobi and Mr. Sobi and family, it is with the sadness that we learn of the passing of your beloved mother recently. Please accept our sincere condolences and heartfelt wishes of support and sympathy for you and your family members at this time. We know that the passing of one's mother can be particularly difficult because of the heavenly love given to us by our mothers. It is an expression of the divine love of God. We are praying for your mother's peaceful transition to the hereafter and for God's embrace to be with you and your family always. Mr. Sobi and Mrs. Sobi, as you know, how much to uh, uh, how much you know love you i really really long for your family i oh, hope you. i can go to uh, australia very soon then i first of all i want to see your couple and we have a more discussion together we share our love each other please you send off your mother very very well i will pray for your mother mr sobi mr sobi Thank you very much. I love you very, very much. Kamsamina. Uh, thank you very much. Very kind of you, Dr. Yon. Very nice. That's beautiful words. Yeah. yeah. We love you too. And I hope always I hear this beautiful voice. I wish you a good, good stay wherever you are. And I will pray for you all my life. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, this is a video. <laughs> so it's I know. not long. I know. Okay. I know. But, but I know. Even see this <laughs> John, <laughs> I know it is a video. But <laughs> even uh, but I, I am sure he's gonna hear me. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because, he's now, but yeah. he'll also see this recording later. <laughs> so he yeah. Yeah, we will do the record later, maybe, yes. But I know it's a video. <laughs> but I can't stop, though. <laughs> this is from my heart. All right. So thank you. Uh, thank you. So I'm going to uh, uh, go on to Mr. what my presentation is. 
and I was asked to share with you a special peace festival that occurred on the 4th of April, uh, just a few months back. And this is a, a testimonial declaration. So it's going to be a series of videos. Of, uh, there's, there's five different ones, uh, and I'll just tell you who they are in a minute. But this is all, uh, this is a peace festival. And this, this in, incorporates a blessing, plus testimonies from actually very prominent people in Korea about this time we're living in and about our true parents. And so they gave some really amazing stories. And this is what uh, I, I want to share with you today. And so this peace festival, there, there were these people. There was Kim Gyu Hwan. Uh, I'll do each one after then. Pak Young Kyu, a venerable uh, Bo Bong or Do Bong, uh, John He Song. And then there's a couple, a recently blessed couple, uh, an international couple, uh, Ryan uh, Hawkutson and this other name from uh, Thailand, which I find very hard to pronounce, Chai Sit Dam Rong Kem Mong Ken Tok. So forgive mm -hmm. my bad pronunciation. But those are the presentations that I'm going to come. Each of them uh, are about uh, seven minutes uh, on average. One's five minutes, another's 10. But on average, they're roughly seven minutes each. And this Kim Gyu Hwan, he is a Korean member of the National Assembly. He's four years in, in government, and he's had a, an interesting life and career. And he, he is giving, and he's a, a prominent person that actually uh, made active change uh, in the Korean government. And he, he has been uh, following our true parents from a very, very young age. And so uh, I'll let him tell his story. And so I'll just uh, uh, play that now. Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is uh, Kim gyu -hwan. I was a former member of the Korean National Assembly. I'm very pleased to meet you today. During my childhood, about 40 years ago, I worked in a company called Daewoo Heavy Industries. And uh, at that time, I was just a uh, worker, a field worker. I would carry these uh, various uh, heavy loads on my back. And uh, one day I saw 11 cars that passed by and from the second car one person came down from the car and the person uh, came, walked all the way next to me and said look at this person's eyes and other people started to gather around me and they asked me who are you what are you doing what is your profession and uh, people asked me what are you doing and uh, I said well uh, I'm not an important person. All I do is just uh, work for Tewe Heavy Industries and uh, I carry these uh, iron rods to Tongil Heavy Industries. And uh, that person looked at me and said, you will be successful, you will be victorious. You will become one of the best in the world. You can be victorious, help this person. And uh, that person got into the car and went. I didn't know who is this person who suddenly stepped out of the car and talked to me. And uh, 40 years later, one day, I was uh, in uh, Coex, Gangnam, uh, and uh, Dr. Hak Sonung Mu has held a special festival to celebrate the publication of uh, his biography. And uh, later, when I heard about Dr. Sun Myung Moon, uh, I wanted to go to that uh, publication festival, and uh, I went into the gate where people will go out. There was no seat for me, and I stood in one of the corners near the pillar, near the exit. And Dr. Moon, uh, Reverend Sun Myung Moon, spoke for two hours, and he received a lot of applause and. Uh, as he was going out, there were many people, tall people next to me, and I waved my hand. But on the way going, he turned around and he came next to me and he said, Hey, you, you, what is your position now? 
And I told uh, Reverend Moon, I said, yes. Um, I am the young person who was carrying iron rods. I've become one of the key engineers in Korea. I've become one of the best engineers in Korea. And Dr. Reverend Moon said, yes, I knew it. And Dr. Reverend Moon said, bring one of my books. And uh, Reverend Moon usually, uh, these were not books that were published. These were huge books. They were so large. They were at least 15 kilos and uh, they were covered with beautiful lacquer and Reverend Moon on the way going out he gave it to me and this is what Reverend Moon said this person he needs to work for the nation he will become a great person for the nation of Korea help him and watch him he will become a great person and uh, everyone applauded and left and what is left to me is what happened afterwards amazing miracles happened to me after i went to college and i became a emeritus professor even though i did not graduate from college and i was also elected as a member of the korean national assembly i placed the books that reverend moon had given me into a beautiful frame and put it into the national library of the korean national assembly and each day, I always remember Reverend Moon's words. What is Korea famous for? In order to raise Korea, I felt that Korea needs to have the largest number of Nobel Peace Prize laureates. And we have been making various laws to support the education of students from primary school all the way to college. And we were able to pass these laws that focus exclusively on raising young people to become Nobel Prize laureates. And one amazing thing I want to mention is that in every law that I passed, I always put Reverend Moon's photo. And one pe person said, what are you doing? And I said, I am doing something for peace and he asked me, is it Family Federation? And I said, yes, that was Mr. Kim song Yeol, a very high-ranking VIP. And through him, I met Reverend Song Gwang Sok, the chair of UPF Korea. And uh, I also was appointed as the co-chair of IAPP Korea. I was able to go to Korea, to uh, Nepal, to Japan. As a parliamentarian, I could attend various IAPP gatherings. And I was able to see with my own eyes the work that Dr. Hak Chahan Moon is doing. I do not think that there is anyone else who is doing more than Dr. Hak Chahan Moon for the sake of peace on the Korean Peninsula and peace around the world. I believe that the key to peaceful reunification on the Korean Peninsula lies with Dr. Hak Chahan Moon. Dr. Hak Chahan Moon is the mother of peace that the entire world, that all of humanity recognizes as the mother of peace. Heads of state are recognizing Dr. Moon as the mother of peace. Dr. Hak Chahan Moon, the mother of peace, she is the mother of unification. Wouldn't you agree? She is the mother of Korean reunification. She indeed is the mother of peace. I believe that if God looked at me and asked me, you have one wish, what is your wish? I will gladly and boldly declare, I want Dr. Hak Chahan Moon to live for a long, long time, that she can realize her wish of world peace during her lifetime. My only wish to God will be grant Mother Moon a long and healthy life. I would like to end my remarks here. Thank you very much. So, yes, thank you very much. So, so this uh, uh, gentleman, father, uh, more than 40 years ago, uh, said he would be great. He became the greatest uh, engineer in uh, Korea at the time and is still regarded as one of the best engineers they produced and then went on to become a very prominent uh, member of parliament who was able to pass many laws and each of those laws, he put father's photo. So he was gaining 
father's blessing, true parents' blessing for the laws to be passed in, in, in Korea. So we can see that this person over many years has dedicated his life to uh, serve our true parents and also at the same time uh, is, is instrumental in changing the government's view. So people have gone from being uh, not sure to being very, very positive because he has made great changes and he keeps testifying wherever he gets a chance uh, to say that because of uh, True Father's predictions, his life has, has been miraculous. So uh, that's uh, one of the speakers. I'll go on to all of the others. I'll just make some comments, but at the end, we can make uh, longer comments about this. So the next person is this Park Jung Kyu. He's a, a senior pastor of a church, a Christian church, and he's also in charge of the Korean Christian Leadership uh, Conference in Seoul. And he uh, gives a testimony. So I'll, I'll just play that now. Good morning, everyone. My name is uh, Reverend Pa Gyeong Gyu. I am the senior pastor of Pamphylia Church and also the chair of KCLC for the region of Seoul and Ichun. I'm very pleased to meet you. First of all, I would like to congratulate Reverend Han Myung Moon and Dr. Hak Han Moon, the true parents of humanity, on their 61st holy wedding anniversary. I am a Protestant pastor and theologian. This morning, we are celebrating Easter Sunday. What is the reason that brought me here? It is because I know who Dr. Hak Han Moon the mother of peace is Christianity until now has learned about God Jehovah as the Father. And until now, Christianity began with the work of the Holy Spirit. And until now, there has been an understanding of God from a chauvinistic perspective. However, the motherly love of God, the motherly aspect of God has not been fully revealed. However, Dr. Hak Jahan Moon, the true mother, has really helped me understand a completely different aspect of God. She has helped me read the Bible in a different perspective, understanding that God is the heavenly parent, that there is a masculine and feminine aspect to God. And I believe that understanding God as the parent of humanity has enriched my understanding of God's masculine aspect and feminine aspect. This really was a tremendous revelation and understanding for me. Therefore, humanity has been waiting for the Messiah to come and bring salvation to humanity. And to, for this to be possible, we need Reverend Son Myung Moon, the only begotten son, and Dr. Hak Jahan Moon, the only begotten daughter. It is through the work of true parents that humanity can find true salvation. I came to recognize and understand that Dr. Hak Jahan Moon is the only begotten daughter. Until now, Korean Christians only understood God uh, in a very dogmatic and very theological perspective. But looking at Family Federation, bringing everyone together, I realized that the Family Federation movement is really doing the work of the Holy Spirit, bringing people from all around the world together. True Mother has shown us the role that religion must play, which is to bring humanity together. Religions have a lot in common, but each religion seeks goodness and peace. Tolerance between religions, hence, is essential. A great point that I would like to praise Heavenly Parents Holy Community that True Mother is leading is that Heavenly Parents Holy Community brings all religions together. Lastly, I firmly believe that True Mother is the incarnation of the Holy Spirit. True Mother, the only begotten daughter, has been sent by Heavenly 
parent as the incarnation of the Holy Spirit. She is showing people the way to attend and work with Heavenly Parent. Since God is an omnipotent God, I would like to thank True Mother, the Mother of Peace, because now we can fully feel, experience the love of Heavenly Parent through True Mother. I would like to conclude my message with a short confession. At the age of 17, I have been raised in a very strict Christian tradition. But until now, I have always felt the loving embrace of my mother. It is thanks to my mother that I walked the path of testifying about Christ. And in 1988, on May 8, on that morning, I wrote a poem that I offered to my mother as a confession for thanking her to uh, guide me to walk in this path of faith. I would like to share that confession with all of you. This is my letter that I offered to the Mother Christ. Where is the mother dressed in divine green clothes? Who can stand in front of creation as the star of this beautiful spring day. Once again, where is the woman with foresight and insight who can answer all the fundamental questions of life and who has the skills to feed her children? Until a woman with a heart of love can persuade us to resemble her appears, we are lonely people. We are orphans, widows, and uh, travelers. We are thirsty for the mother, and we are similar to summer droughts. Until now, I could only look at love. I could not feel, touch this love of a mother. In front of this motherly love, I really felt that eternal love is motherly. I really could feel that through the mother I could go into the eternal abode of God's love. Having transformed into a woman, I could see Christ as the mother who showed the path for us to walk. My confession today is to tell you that God is like our mother. Dr. Hak Jahan Moon is indeed the Holy Spirit. Let us welcome her with a heart of gratitude. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, so as you can see, he, this person's a, a, a Christian pastor uh, uh, who always yeah, understood God as, as male, but he had his own experience when he was 17 that, that Christ was also a mother. And so he was secretly longing to experience mother. And so when he realized that true mother is the only begotten daughter, that true mother is the, the uh, presence of the Holy Spirit on earth, then everything became clear to him. Finally, God is parents. And this is a big revelation for uh, this Christian minister and all Christian ministers, because God is a parent. And so he's very grateful that the heavenly parent holy community is established because this is the body that he believes will unite all religions because our heavenly parent is the parent of all of us so that's that's his testament the next person uh, venerable do bong is a uh, a buddhist and he he's going to talk about buddha and he mentions uh, buddha land and uh, the buddha land from the Buddhist perspective, is the kingdom of heaven on earth, is the world of peace and harmony. And so uh, he gives his testimony uh, about our true parents and about our true mother. So all of these people have, have known our movements for many, many years, but today, because of this special peace festival, uh, actually true mother invited them one by one to come and to share their story. Uh, and this is not a story of like, oh, this is what I'm going to do. But this is a story of this is my life. This is what I've done. And this is how 
uh, we are really changing substantially. And so let's uh, listen to Venerable Dobong. Venerable Dobong, the chief priest of the Joge Order of Buddhism, will offer his Hyojong testimony. My name is uh, Dobong from the Songni Mountain Popju Temple, and uh, I was also the chief priest of the Joge Order of Buddhism in uh, Korea. And uh, my name is uh, Dobong. I'm very pleased to meet you today. Reverend Sun Myung Moon and Dr. Hak Jahan Moon are Buddhas. In Buddhism, we say that the heart is Buddha. Buddha represents the true I, and the true I reaches perfection and maturity on the basis of having received grace from one's true parents. Therefore, those who give true grace are Reverend Moon and Dr. Hak Jahan Moon. They are indeed the Buddhas. Everyone gathered here, everyone from around the world attending today's Peace of Festival, you have all received a special grace from Reverend Moon and Dr. Hak Jahan Moon. You are the true children of true parents and therefore you are also Buddhas. I've been given the opportunity to testify about what I truly feel related to the global work for peace that Reverend Moon and Dr. Hak Jahan Moon have been carrying out throughout their lives with an unchanging heart of devotion and love for humanity. It is for me a true honor, a true blessing to share my candid heart about what I feel Reverend Moon and Dr. Hak Jahan Moon to be. In particular, recently Dr. Hak Jahan Moon has been engaged in various activities and I have participated and observed Dr. Hak Jahan Moon's work and I have been pro profoundly moved. In 2020 at Kintex in Ilsan, Dr. Hak Jahan Moon hosted World Summit 2020 and she also hosted the Sonak Peace Prize Award Ceremony. Dr. Hak Jahan Moon also launched the publication of her memoirs. Through these works, I could see that Dr. Hak Jahan Moon has been investing such incredible efforts for the sake of humanity. Once again, this was a precious opportunity for me to feel the great work for peace that Dr. Hak Chahan Moon has been doing through the invitation of Reverend Lee Hyun Young, the chair of the Korea Association of Religions, I could rub shoulders with eminent religious leaders and leaders of civil society from around the world. This summit was not an event that could be hosted if you have money. It is not the government that can host such an event. It is only someone who has invested her entire life for the sake of peace that can bring such peace-loving citizens and like-minded leaders from all around the world together. Dr. Hak Jahan Moon has received and has gained, earned the respect and the praise of peace-loving citizens from around the world and she has connected the entire worldwide foundation of peace-loving citizens to peace on the Korean Peninsula. This is my frank testimony about Dr. Hak Jahan. I read Mother's biography several times and I participated in various interreligious activities of the Korea Association of Religions. 
beloved members of family federation you are truly happy and blessed people i will do my best to be a filial son to heavenly parent and filial piety is uh, an act of loyalty can a hundred times a hundred filial piety is one of the most basic principles in buddhism and the movement for heavenly unification that is being carried out by true parents will be a movement i will wholeheartedly support i believe firmly that all religions recognize a deity whether it is god in christianity or buddha in buddhism or allah in islam are all in a parental position to all of us for me there is but one truth what is that truth the truth is that there is but one path whether it is a religious person seeking the truth anyone who wishes to work for the sake of peace must work for the sake of the heavenly unified korea together with dr hakchahan moon true parents are walking the path of the heavenly unified korea therefore I am confident that the heavenly unified Korea is the land of Buddha. Dr. Hakchahan Moon is leading this providential history. Dr. Hakchahan Moon is the true mother, the mother of peace. She is leading this new millennium, this new providential age. And my prayer is that Buddha's grace can be with true mother with all of you and together let us realize peace for humanity and peace in the world thank you very much Yeah, so this uh, venerable Dong, uh, Bo Dong, or Do, Do Bong, <laughs> is uh, like the, the head Buddhist in his uh, religious order. And he uh, has understood that our true mother and our true father are the Buddha. So the, the, the Buddhists are waiting for the Buddha. And the Buddhists are waiting for the Buddha to bring their promise and that promise is buddha land and he can see through true parents that they are the buddha and they have opened up the buddha land and so this work of reunification he feels is is vital at this time because this is uh, the will of buddha so he he's just completely uh a hundred percent convinced and and in his heart knows that mother is the Buddha. And that uh, he said that one of the main tenets uh, that Buddhists follow is filial piety, 100% loyalty, and he is uh, giving himself you know, to our mother and then therefore teaching all his people the same. So there we have a Christian and a Buddhist who recognize that uh, they are the culmination of what their religion is waiting for and that the both of them have realized that this is done as parents and both realize that the heavenly parent holy community is the opening up of the new world that god has longed for and so the, the next person we'll look at is is jong he song and she is a korean actress of some 60 years and she has known our true parents from before they were blessed. And so uh, I'll let her tell her story. Okay. When 
Good morning, everyone. My name is Chong Hye Sun, and uh, I am a Korean actress. I'm very pleased to meet you today. Thank you very much for your warm welcome, and uh, I'm uh, really honored to come and share a few words uh, because True Mother invited me to come and speak at this peace festival, and uh, I'm really grateful. Whenever there was a major event, I was invited several times, and uh, I've come to Chongpyeong on many occasions. And each time, as uh, I came here, I always uh, felt at home, and uh, I felt uh, humbled. And uh, for 60 years, I was an actress, but this heart of uh, a really a gratitude uh, continues to stay with me. And uh, can you really uh, feel my heart? Can you feel how tense and yet how excited I feel? Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I would like to share a little bit about my uh, relationship with the movement. And uh, in my... Uh, uh, memory, I think, uh, I would like to speak about what happened uh, 64 years ago. In 1957, this was uh, only a few years after the Korean War. Korea was completely dissolute, uh, completely destroyed. And uh, in 1957, I joined the Sudo Girls Middle School. And uh, I met a good friend who Unification Church member and uh, at that time uh, I was going to church but I was not really a faithful student but uh, my uh, student kept taking me to church and uh, even uh, led me to become a Sunday service teacher uh, but I was not really the most exemplary uh, church member but uh, this uh, friend my original name is Youngja and uh, uh, my friend said, uh, after today's class, there is a place to go. And I said, okay, let's go together since she was my friend. And the place I went was the Chongpadong Headquarters Church. Uh, in reality, uh, I'm sure that uh, you may not imagine it, but uh, 60 years ago, at that time, the Unification Church was uh, very uh, controversial and uh, there were many uh, revivals and uh, students uh, interested in religion re would always go to the revivals of the Unification Church. So it was controversial, but it was the most active church in Korea at the time. It had so many revivals. And uh, this friend told me, let's go to this revival together and uh, Reverend Moon uh, will preach. So I'm one of the people alive who actually heard a sermon from Reverend Moon from 60 years ago. Anyway, um, in 1957, have you, do you, if there's anyone here who has heard uh, Reverend Moon's uh, sermon from 1957, raise your hand. What? There's not a single person? Anyway, um, I feel like I'm suddenly a relic. I feel like a historical relic. Uh, 57 years ago, I heard Reverend Moon's sermon. I was so enthralled that my relationship with the Unification Church began at that time. And after that, I joined KBS, the Korean Broadcasting uh, Corporation. And after that, I became an actress. And a few years later, one of my colleagues came and told me, uh, Chong Hye-san, uh, there will be a rally uh, in Osaka organized by the Unification Church and we need to go together. Thanks to God's protection, I was able to go to Osaka and uh, I remember the workshop took place over three days and I would always sit every day in the front row, listen to everything. I was participating in this workshop and uh, I was appointed as a peace ambassador. I was in, and this was such a great blessing for me. Have you heard of the title Peace Ambassador? A Peace Ambassador is really an incredible title and uh, I really could feel the honor bestowed upon um, me. And uh, after that, I was put in charge of something important, which is uh, uh, Peace Ambassadors are expected to help others 
and we would really do a lot of charity work. And uh, at that time, uh, the, the president, the current president of Somun University, Dr. Son Jo Hwang, would uh, bring us together. And uh, uh, there was an event, and uh, it was an event uh, to really help others. And the theme was food is love, based on father's biography. And uh, we began this charity work of providing food to destitute people. I would go to uh, various restaurants and help them make food and distribute it to the destitute. We would make dumplings. We would uh, gather donations of rice and donate it to North Korea. We would also go into the streets and uh, we would uh, have a slogan, uh, let us work together, let us help one another. We did a lot of charity work for society. It was such a rewarding um, phase of my life to be a peace ambassador. I was able to meet with uh, Dr. Hak Jahan Moon, with Reverend Moon in major events, and uh, I received a lot of love from true parents. Uh, one day, uh, Reverend Moon and Dr. Jahan Moon, um, they mentioned that they would go on a business trip, and I went to the airport to greet them on their way out. And uh, from what I heard, uh, Reverend Moon, and uh, every time he has a bit of free time, he would go fish. So uh, I really went to buy a sunglass to help Dr. Moon to really help him during his uh, fishing trips. And I wondered, would uh, Reverend Moon really receive my humble gift of sunglasses? I was worried uh, if he doesn't really accept my gift, uh, he I will feel so embarrassed. But I courageously went and I gave sunglasses to Reverend Moon. And uh, Reverend Moon was so happy to receive my gift. I felt like the most blessed, the happiest person in the world when Reverend Moon accepted my gift so happily. I was so moved by that. Every time I had a small gift I wanted to give Reverend Moon, I would give him. Sometimes I would give him a cushion, sometimes a mug. But Reverend Moon was always so happy to accept the heart with which I gave my heart. And that's why I respect, I love Reverend Moon and uh, Mrs. Moon. I heard on the news that Reverend Moon had passed away. And uh, hearing the news of the Reverend Moon's ascension, when I came to Cheongpyeong, uh, the whole time I came here, I couldn't stop crying because what remained of me was the love that I had received from Reverend Moon. And I felt as if I could not really repay that love. And every time I come here, I always feel that Reverend Moon is somewhere here in Cheongpyeong. And I always remember Reverend Moon. I'm sure it is the same for you. I'm sure you miss Reverend Moon. You might miss Reverend Moon more than I do. Isn't that so? The world was coming together with the rallies of hope. And even though Reverend Moon was not present, Dr. Hak Jahan Moon, even though she is beautiful, even though she is so gracious, I had not really realized the leadership, the breadth of True Mother's courage, the resolution with which she wanted to realize Reverend Moon's mission, the beautiful, the firm, the courageous, the confident message she conveyed on that day really inspired me. Once again, I completely changed my understanding of Dr. Hak Jahan Moon. She is a person sent by heaven. She is not just a mother. She is the mother of peace. True mother has always been working tirelessly around the world. She has been on a trip touring the world several times a year and uh, mother is not young. In the past, uh, mother could uh, go around uh, the world several times a year, but now at her age, it really is time for mother to be in her chamber, welcome children from around the world. But nonetheless, mother always takes the lead. She's walking around the world. She is really working tirelessly for the sake of peace. And every time I see mother, I always feel that mother is amazing. And that is why in my heart, I really feel that true mother must be healthy. Every day I will pray for mother, I will pray for you. And lastly, 
I am a peace ambassador. I am a member of peace, and I'm also a a PR ambassador for UPF. Thank you, everyone. I don't think I've prepared adequately, but really, thank you so much for your attention. And uh, please be healthy and happy. Thank you once again. So she gives a, a wonderful testimony over you know, 60 years of knowing uh, our true parents. And, and I was uh, especially touched by that statement, her realization you know, that she came when Father ascended to spirit world. And then uh, we were all there and people are crying. And, uh, and, and she had the realization that she was so grateful. These were tears because of how much love that she had received over the years. So these were tears of gratitude, tears of joy, you know, tears of thankfulness, tears of you know, grace. They weren't tears of sadness. Yes, there's a, a, a portion of sadness, but she was overwhelmed by how much love she had received. And, and recognizing that that love she received was directly from the true parents. And so, and then she realized, you know, uh, her focus moved from father to mother and then realized that mother is a great woman and she is the mother of peace. And so uh, it's a really moving testimony. And you know, she's been in, in uh, an actress for 40, 50 years and she's like, um, the grandmother of acting in, in Korea. She's a very, very famous person, but her whole life and all her success is because of her, her efforts and uh, of giving service, you know, through working together with our true parents. So she sees her success as being an offering uh, that she received grace from God and that she was just doing service. So her happiest time was when she was doing those projects as ambassadors of peace. And now she's going to be the, the PR person in Korea for uh, UPF. And the last uh, people I want to talk about is this uh, couple. Because during the Peace Festival, they had a blessing. And so this couple uh, were blessed at that time. So they're, they're a, a young, young couple. Uh, and I'll, I'll let them yeah, share their story. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We are an international second generation blessed family. My name is Ryan Hawkinson. My name is Chai Sit Tam Nong. Come on, Chanok. I'm very, we're very pleased to meet you today. Thank you for the warm welcome. And uh, my father is American. My mother is Korean. When I was young, we lived in Alaska. And uh, I remember going back and forth between America and Korea. And right now, I am working at YSP Korea in the area of culture and the arts. And uh, my father is Thai and my mother is Japanese. And uh, I w was born in Bangkok. and. Uh, I lived in Thailand until I received a Hyojong Peace Scholarship and uh, I came to study in Songmun University. And uh, right now I am in my senior year and I'm also working as an intern at YSP and I'm also learning how to be a barista. And my dream is to make a financial foundation where I can help not just the Thai uh, church, but also to help other second gens become financially independent. And uh, before receiving the blessing, uh, my parents really loved each other. And when I saw my parents, uh, um, father and mother from different countries, loving each other, I really felt that it is possible for national marriage to work and uh, I really wanted to receive an international blessing and I pray that I could have an international husband and uh, we our parents met together and uh, in uh, February 2020 we received a true parents uh, blessing and my wife is the most beautiful girl in the world, woman in the world, and uh, she's always respecting me, trying to bring joy and happiness in my life. 
and we usually communicate in Korean and sometimes the communication doesn't work and uh, sometimes we use uh, sign languages and one of the expressions she uh, uses is uh, bing bing and she uses Thai expressions and uh, it is difficult to express what she means because I don't really understand Thai but I really could feel her heart and I really feel that our ex emotions are conveyed even better because we are not just united uh, in heart but we are really trying to bring different cultures and different nationalities together it is true parents blessing and love that has brought us together after receiving the blessing uh, we have not been on a honeymoon yet but after receiving the blessing uh, all of the time we spent together felt like a trip like a honeymoon and uh, also because we are so different each time we met it really felt like we were going on a honeymoon together each moment was beautiful and sometimes I'm filled with tears because my husband uh, is so handsome and uh, I'm grateful to Heavenly Parent for uh, really giving me my husband and I believe my husband is the gift of Heavenly Parent uh, to me. Sometimes in my heart I ask Heavenly Parent and I'm not qualified and yet why did you give me such a great blessing? Thank you so much for giving me such an amazing husband and uh, the fact that I could meet my husband is really a sign that God loves me so much and uh, I uh, after receiving the blessing from with uh, Ryan I really feel that uh, I have received the greatest blessing from Heavenly Parent and True Parents and as the sons and daughters of uh, True Parents we really want to return joy and glory to Heavenly Parent and True Parents and uh, on my cell phone um, it, you, I, there's a picture of uh, my wife is my Heavenly Parent so we hope that uh, we can become a beautiful couple together and uh, my dream is to actually go to uh, go to Thailand and teach Korean in Thailand and uh, also uh, to our children we really want to teach our children in the future that love has no barriers that uh, all the second gens can feel inspired to receive a national blessing so may heavenly parents and true parents blessings and love be with you all thank you so much so, uh, as you can see they're, they're so happy to be blessed and and this this is uh, like the hope of our movement because their parents were blessed you know by our true parents and these are the children and the children have decided to go the same way as the parents to dedicate their life to our heavenly parents and to dedicate their life to one another so that they themselves can become true parents and this is sort of a very similar to uh, mandaeans because mandaeans they want to keep the lineage pure and and keep uh, married within and we're we're the same in that respect we want to maintain God's lineage and this is an example of of the children who've accepted what the, because that's the main issue with the children today do the children really respect the parents do the children really offer this filial piety uh, really show respect and honor to their parents and when finally the children do and become a married couple then that's like the culmination this is when God is the happiest because the parents and God is looking at his grandchildren becoming you know, his children and being parents. And so this is like how uh, the lineage of God grows and expands. And this blessing is open to everyone. It's not just confined there because our true parents opened a way for which all people can dedicate their lives and enter into that pure lineage. And that's the gift that our true parents are bringing to the world today, the opportunity for all people to be part of the pure lineage of God. So uh, that's the, the presentation, thank you. Uh, and I'll just uh, stop sharing the screen and we can start having comments. And so that was really an amazing uh, festival that occurred you know, back in April. And these speakers were, I mean, they, the full story is much longer, but I was able to compress the essence in, in, in a shorter time. But really, uh, 
they, they are showing that the truth is here and they have lived their life of many years and, and have started to uh, produce results that is changing Korea. And so we really do expect that in 2022, <laughs> we will be seeing a, a unified Korea at last. Absolutely. Thank we, you. We hope. Thank you very much. That was fantastic. It's very impressive. These beautiful, <laughs> you know, uh, really these the five just perfect example of the UPF, and uh, you know, very example, a good example for Father <laughs> and Mother Moon, which is really, really great thing. <laughs> yeah, very impressive. Uh, yeah, I think, I think they, you know, they talks about the right thing of this life. It's nothing better than this. The life has to be, you know, um, happiness and honesty and love between all the people in this earth, I think. And as we know, Father Moon, Mother Moon also, Mother of, of Peace, you know, she is she 100%, there's no doubt about that. I don't know how we're going to call her. Uh, she is beyond, you know, all these names we call, it's beyond. Uh, we love her so much. And we always following her step, always, I think. And most of the people on this earth who really loves a good thing and good life, they follow her. And we are lucky, I think. We're so lucky we are following her. And uh, yeah, uh, look at this world. Look at this a problem around the world. Look at the, uh, you know, all these all this suffering around the world. If the people they follow, what's Mother Moon created for this world and Father Moon, of course, the world I think will be happy for anyone. I think any religions mm. will make no difference. Mm. All the religions, even Mandayan or, you know, as you know, we're so old religions and, you know, a lot of spiritual things. And uh, it's completely different than other religions, which is we believe in. It is not easy, but as I think, uh, this is the way of mother of peace. Mother of peace, she done things which is for the whole world, I think, it should follow. In fact, I used, I just, because a few hours I was, you know, meeting somebody as a lawyer called Fred David. He's a very nice gentleman, very beautiful gentleman. He also follow us, you know, and he see our program and what we talking. And he said, he said, how can I meet these people? I said, you should meet them. Mm -hmm. I, yes, I gave him my word. One day I say, you know, one day we're gonna, it's not like that. I said, you know, the UPA people, it's not you go and register your name or something. It doesn't work like that. What you have done, what you sacrifice, they will found you. If you do the right thing, they'll come after you, they know. This gentleman, he done this, 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 a true. <laughs> you know, he's a lawyer, a very good lawyer. He's one of the best lawyer, I think. Mm. Yes, in Australia, one day also I'll show it to you. He's a very nice gentleman. Mm. He was crying when he heard about my mother. Uh, since I come to him, mm. he hugged me, cried, because he know, he know my mother and uh, yeah, yeah. you know my family. And then in fact, when I was overseas, I used to give him this, my house here. I said, you stay here mm. until I come back. Mm. So I left him here for almost seven years. Wow. Yeah. So we are like a family. He's a very good gentleman. Mm -hmm. I told him also, I will promise you, I'm going to talk about you today mm -hmm. with my lovely people and quality hearts. <laughs> I'm going to tell everything about you. Yeah. And then one day, yes, when we have a time, we'll come and then we'll meet yes. with Mr. Stone and Mr. Uh, John and Otako. Uh, and then, yeah, we can, because he's so, so busy overload, you know, with really? his uh, yeah, cases and, you know, oh. yeah, big, big. Mm. Yeah. And then, okay. yeah. So, yeah, I mean, nothing better than the way we are in now. We should work together. We should mm -hmm. sacrifice. Yes, uh, we should do a lot of things. And I hope, I hope, 
I pray I got more time. I am doing my things like if not for the Mandayan, it's fine. I can work easy for me. This is the Congress because I work with the very good people. They don't give me a hard time. Uh, they are all looking after me, most of them <laughs> like a family. Mm. Yes, that is around the world. Yes, but it's easy for me. Mm. But I am preparing to do bit by bit, you know, shrinking my business. Mm. So I can, you know, I can be mm-hmm. with you more, guys. Wow. Yes, sir. Thanks. Yes. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> because where can you find a lovely family in this world? <laughs> where can you find? Look, look at mother. For example, my mother, she passed away. But believe me, I don't, I mean, you know, I pray for Mother Moon more than I pray for my mother. Right. Honestly. Yes. Yes. I don't know. There is something in my heart. There is something. Mm. I don't know what is it, but uh, well, I am like that. I'm a person. I love everybody. I do a lot of uh, things, you know, like as I say, 80% of my life for my people and others also, even any anyone, any religions. But especially with these people, Mother Moon, especially Father Moon, shame, he passed away. I couldn't see him which is, I am too late in this. Mm. But we're going to see him one day up there. Mm. But Mother Moon, we should serve her, really. She deserves every every good thing in this life. Mm. Every, you know, uh, sacrifice, because she deserves it. She is bringing the world together now. She brings the, the love together. Mm. You know, yeah. I mean, you know, we don't need, I, I think all the people I have seen, they don't need nothing. They don't need money or they need love or they, I don't think so because these all, what I have seen, they are all, you know, good. They reach one point, which is they don't need anything, Mm -hmm. but they need main things. They need that. Exactly. Yes. uh, They need that love from Father Moon, Mother Moon, and then they need that way of this life, Mm -hmm. I think. And that will bring us all together. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. I think so. Yeah. And God bless you all, especially you, Dr. <laughs> Kettle. I love to see your face. I can see how you feel. I saw you were beautiful that when he cried the other day. Ah, yes. Uh, yes. Do you remember? Mother Moon, when she was young, she wanted to pass the bridge and then the last thing being bumped. And then she comes to this part. Yes. Wow. You're all good and beautiful and nice. God bless you all. <laughs> Thank you. If somebody wants to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> it was really interesting also to see um, that Hindu leader. He's a very high Hindu leader in India, I understand. Or maybe Ahara, you know him well. And, and Dr. Mm-hmm. Kittle, but he also gave an amazing testimony from the Hindu perspective about true parents. Mm-hmm. I was so amazed, you know. So it's interesting, all the different religions, Same. there's some kind of a point of connection that comes with uh, with the true mm-hmm. parents, you know. So, yeah. yeah true parents, <laughs> um, Mrs. Stone, parents, I think, the world built in True parents, the world, this yes. world, this our world we are in, mm. is beginning from the family. Yes. Exactly what you say, exactly what Dr. Young said mm. when he came, when I saw him first time. And this is exactly mm. this is family first, and then you go up and up and up, and then the whole world. We are one. We mm. are, I think we are one. Yes. We are one. There is no difference. Yes. The only thing we have, you know, to to have love. Yes. We have to create. I mean, love is not I mean, I don't know, it's creative, but it's not creator. It's it's there. Yes. It's 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 there. You just want to bring him up, yes. to bring out. Yes. The love is there with everybody, I think. Yes. And then if you see, like, you know, two days ago when the ceremony of my mother. I had many thousand people, they come. It was amazing. 
thousand and thousand hugging mm. and you know yeah. we come to the same I mean you know I told them we're coming to the they, yes we're coming to the this purpose yes no one need me no one somebody wants nothing of me yeah. but because I done I worked for them you know they say this is pleasure like I see them they they coming in spirit you know like from their heart they mm. hug me kiss mm. me I'm mm. sorry about your mom I say this is that's fine. I mean, <laughs> she goes to the heaven, I'm, I'm sure, from that, because she was mother of, you know, everybody, woman Diane, you know, mm -hmm. she she spent all her life, like 80% also, mm -hmm. or 90, all her life, not 80, all her life for somebody. Mm -hmm. She sit in the morning, and she call here and there and there and ask about how you're doing, what you're doing, what you have, what you've done. She give her advice every day from morning. I say, mom, sometime I saw her, I want to talk to her. I don't have, you know, she don't have time. <laughs> I say, listen, you from the morning to night, you just what were you doing? You like yeah. sometimes, <laughs> yeah, you know, because I joke with her. I say, what is this BBC or what? What's <laughs> happened to you? Like, Everything. She got all the news. Everybody who moved. I said, oh God, what's this? Amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. It is amazing. I had, had never seen, you know, like, like, like her, honestly. <laughs> she got the power to listen. She got the power to answer and to, you know, create things and do that. And everybody called her mama, mama, from everybody. <laughs> it's just too much. Yeah. So there is always, you know, good. Now people, they, oh, yes, they said good. They say, oh, she was good. Mm. And when, you know, I wish nothing, no one will be bad. And people, they come and say, this is bad. This is, these two things will stay here in this life. Mm. Good and bad. Mm. Uh, but will you be good? You go mm. pleased before she die. Also, thank you. Bye-bye. She said, bye-bye. Oh, my God. <laughs> Who me? She said, Who are you? I know you very well. <laughs> you are like this. You are Fuad. You are, oh, my God. <laughs> and then people, they're coming from, you know, anyone. Who is this? She said, this, this is like that, like that. His name, his father, grandfather. God. <laughs> she recorded everything. For me, I'm all the way around. You know, so if you ask me, even, you know, <laughs> what uh, the name, I forgot straight away. I don't put that in my mind, you know, because I got something right. else. She could sit right. She know every yeah. single one. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe this. And then, yeah, thanks God. She gone in peace and she took everything, which is everybody is happy. <laughs> and I wish you all good. Uh, yeah. uh, and today lesson was very nice, really, you know, this is beautiful thing. Everybody who spoke mm -hmm. today about Father and Mother Moon, uh, especially the lady, the actor lady. This is mm -hmm. incredible. Can you feel when she talked, she said, I took the glass and then I I felt <laughs> You know, yeah, true, um, uh, Bahara. When she said like this, because yeah. it's happened to us sometimes. Uh -huh. Somebody want like, okay. Once I was in Germany, for example, and I visit one of a small family, you know, young. I went there, and then you know, I saw they're carrying their baby like this. They have two children, yeah. Yeah, and then waiting for me in the door. They don't know what to do, and then when I come, I talk to them. They come relax and I. I come in, I said, what do you thought about me? He said, Mrs. Toby, I thought when you come to us, we don't know how to talk to you, or we was very worried, yeah. you know, how, which way we should talk, yeah. you know? And we thought maybe you are not going to speak to us much or something, but we see something else. We see a different <laughs> person. We see a person who talks to the children, like, you know, not my children, hold them on, we give them <laughs> presents. And, you know, so the life, I think this is the life. Father Moon, Mother Moon, this is their life. When they give, they give from their hearts. You see what they done now in this world? They create every, you know, every good heart with them now straight. And I'm sure there is millions and millions around the world, a good heart. You don't need even to, you know, to teach them how to be a good. They're coming. They will, everybody will come. At the end, as I say, this UPF, Mother Moon, I wish, you know, she will be 
I mean, we can't stay forever, but I wish her to be a long, long, long life because she is like umbrella in, in our head. <laughs> Honestly, from the heat, from the rain, yeah, mm -hmm. and from that's just true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she is real mother. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because she, yeah, this is our, well, we are her sons and daughters. And, mm -hmm. uh, so it's interesting. Uh, <clears throat> thank you very much. So we also, um, Dr. Kittle, you were there in Korea uh, for the Rally of Hope 6. And um, I just feel it's such an incredible breakthrough that somehow we couldn't get that even in father, father's life. Um, now such high level people coming. There was a, a Ban Ki-moon. Yes. So maybe Dr. Kittle, can you just explain a little bit what happened with the Rally of Hope and the, and the level of people there and what actually happened with the, you know, the think tank and all that? Because I didn't know that um, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Sobby was aware of that because of the funeral and everything. Yeah. Yes. I yeah. Anyway, thank you, uh, John, for preparing and sharing really a wonderful set of testimonies. When I listened to them a second time, uh, my really my feeling is these are Korean people testifying in front of Korean people. And it's sometimes easy to kind of have your own personal feeling, but especially, you know, you might not want to share this publicly uh, because you might be concerned but they had no hesitation for that. To me, this was the incredible point. And uh, I think mm. Greg had mentioned also the, uh, the uh, Hindu leader and Ahara and I both know him. Ahara was there longer, but he is the head priest from Brindavan, which is their Mecca. And mm. he would use the Hindu terms and say that Father and Mother Moon are like the incarnation of Shiva and poverty. And the Buddhist priest would say, well, you know, Father and Mother Moon, they are Buddhas. Um, and then also in Islam, when Mother Moon went to Africa, there was a Sheikh Mansur. And mm -hmm. he, he said, you know, Mother Moon is my mother, um, yes. like that. And most recently in South Africa, we had, uh, his name is the Prophet Kradebi. Uh, he has a mixture of Christian and African kind of spirituality mixed together. And um, he brought, for a special ceremony that we had, it was just a few days ago, maybe a week ago. It was called the, the, the we call it Chanbo, but it was kind of the, 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 the treasure of heaven, which is really the family unit, something like that. And he brought 200,000 people to meet Mother Moon on the internet and to participate in this Chanbo kind of festival. And he said that in order to prepare for that, they prepared three days. And he said a lot of washing. They washed their house. They prepared their house. They washed their clothes. They washed their body. And he said this Chanbo was the cleansing of our marriages because we all knew need restarts or uh, new beginnings in our life periodically and marriage also needs this restart and it was a recommitment to the institution of marriage which they held already in high esteem and now bringing it to a higher level through father and mother moon's teaching so this was the prophet radebi so we share this because we are working to bring all religions together, not centering on theology, because that's really not possible, mm -hmm. but centering on marriage and family. And even the United Nations, the United Nations goal is sustainable development. You cannot have sustainable development unless you have sustainable families. <laughs> mm. You cannot have sustainable families unless you have sustainable marriages. <laughs> It's so simple and let people miss the point. And this is, and even you, Dr. Sobe, or Mr. Sobe, you mentioned, you know, money can't buy this. And if you look at the richest people in the world, Bill Gates recently is getting divorced. 
Yep. So yep. money can't buy happiness in, in marriage. And Jeff Bezos, again, one of the richest men in the world, divorced and remarried. I don't, I mean, so can't, why can't we get it? Money can't buy love. Love is beyond that. And that's, again, what Father and Mother Moon are talking about. But Greg asked me to talk about the uh, one event they recently held, and I'll... Yeah, if I may... Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Are you seeing my screen? Yes. Yes, we are seeing your screen. Yes. And this was the flyer from the Rally of Hope. Maybe I can make it up at the top. You'll see Rally of Hope. Yes. and the launching of Think Tank 2022. And it was May 9th, which was Mother's Day, actually. <laughs> so yes. it was a big gift to our true mother. Um, and mother was there. And we had three current heads of state, current heads of state, Hun Sen from Cambodia and uh, Mohammed Bazaum from Niger. And the former vice president, Mike Pence from the United States, former speaker, he was there in Korea last year also, Newt Gingrich. David Beasley was as a Nobel laureate uh, when he headed the World Food Organization. And uh, Jose Barrasso was the president of the European Commission. The next lady, uh, actually the only second lady there, Mother Moon is of course there. She is Professor Sarah Gilbert from Oxford. And she is one of the main kind of inventors, I guess, or designers of the uh, coronavirus vaccine. Um, Jim Rogers was there, a finance uh, kind of management person from Singapore. Um, and then Mark Esper, he was the uh, former Secretary of Defense of the United States. And Mike Pompeo, the Secretary of State of the United States. And then Hussein Mwingvi, um, the president of uh, Zanzibar. So these were the, the people that were invited and spoke. And similar to the religious people that testified, these people are giving more or less a political commentary, encouraging Mother Moon about the reunification of her homeland of Korea. And it's, current, it's the only still divided nation from the Cold War, from the communist Cold War. Um, and they're saying, you know, you are the perfect, uh, in a perfect position to do that because both Father and Mother Moon were originally from North Korea. And 30 years ago, they visited Kim Il-sung personally at really the risk of their life. They didn't know what would happen. And since then, Mother Moon has been invited back to North Korea. And so, but Mother Moon doesn't want to go alone. And so she's building this UPF network, religious leaders, political leaders, business leaders, ad, you know, academicians, in order to be able to go back and hold one of these events in North Korea to kind of break the ice and, and say that, you know, we want to welcome North Korea as one of the, you know, members of this leaders, you know, what am I saying? Uh, a member of the nation, family of nations, that's the phrase, the member of the family of nations. So this is, uh, again, the most recent event that we had uh, just last Saturday. Thank you for uh, inviting me to speak, and I'll let Ahara say some things now. I think she has something to say. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> good answer. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, this was really mind blowing. I think the, this rally of hope, and like Dr. Kito said, Mother's Day, so true Mother's Day. And she yeah. was extremely happy because. Uh, these world leaders just stand by her and support her. But for me, the crowning of it all was really the last, almost the last sentence when uh, Dr. Yoon, who was the MC and mother's very close assistant, um, when he announced and said that uh, uh, Ban Ki-moon 
will be heading this uh, think tank 2022. And I thought this is just so amazing. Number one, you know, we have been holding these uh, consultations or webinars, uh, especially here in the Asia Pacific, uh, talking about how can we support the reunification of North and South Korea. And every time people focus on say, look, this initiative has to be headed has to come from the Korean people. They want it, they need to want it. We can support, we can help, but if the Korean people don't want reunification, what are we talking about? Yeah. So number one, to have a Korean head this um, think tank is absolutely the key to success, I think. And Ban Ki-moon, he's really beyond heads of state, you know, because of course we are very happy, for example, Prime Minister Hun Sen. He said, you know, he wants to co-sponsor with UPF, with True Mother, this world summit to happen in, in North Korea. And they have very good relationships with both North and South Korea, with China. So Korea, I think Cambodia can be an excellent nation to support this initiative. But on the other hand, you know, he represents one nation, which is important, but Ban Ki-moon represents the world also. And he has over 10 years, he built relationships with the heads of state and not only heads of state, with the key stakeholders throughout the world. He knows the situation in all the different countries, issues. I mean, uh, and he's beyond religion or beyond, you know, limitations. He can really head, because this think tank is not only for politicians or political leaders. It also includes religious leaders and business leaders and uh, first ladies and, you know, really representing all of society. So I feel, um, he really is qualified. And I can just realized at that time how Mother Moon really strategically builds up. Because I remember the first, maybe the first picture after Father Moon ascended, where she was taking on the role to meet VIPs was this meet, uh, picture of Mother Moon sitting and having personal conversation with Ban Ki Moon. Oh, that is eight yeah. years ago or something, you know. And then he was awarded the Sanhak Peace Prize. And then this time, so he had a chance to meet Mother Moon personally again. And then this time, actually, we had offered he could give a recorded speech. But actually, he wanted to come to the Peace World Center. He traveled for... You know, I don't know from his home, one, two hours or who knows, maybe longer, but he traveled personally. And when he just came in and he saw the whole setup, how we connect the whole world through technology in the Peace World Center under COVID, you can't gather 20, 30,000 people, but instead we connect people all over the world, millions of people through technology, he was just blown away. And again, he had this chance to speak with Mother Moon before he ever got on stage. Mother Moon talked to him personally. Um, so he really becomes such a close ally. And then from his heart, whenever he speaks, he fully supports UPF. And to accept this position, I was really, I think Mother Moon must have been so happy you know, yes. and so she is now having, building this team from America, from all over the world. So I think people were so amazed how many American top, top leaders completely support True Mother. You know, it's not easy. Yes. <laughs> American yes. leaders to really yes. <laughs> humble themselves <laughs> in front of an Asian woman, you know? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and it's the mother. You see, yeah. because she's the mother, and any son can be humble before his mother. Any daughter, they can come together in front of their parents. And so these leaders can really feel that, 
that mother's heart and that's where they don't have rivalry or feel competition you know or i have to be better you can't be better <laughs> sons don't <laughs> compete with a mother right they might compete with each other <laughs> so i just yeah it's just amazing how mother moon systematically builds up things and like father moon i think uh, tr true parents they always said you know we don't talk before we have done it you're not just giving speeches because that's what people are used to politicians they give you these great speeches but then the reality once they are elected is different but yes. true parents don't do this they talk about what they have done yes and uh, so yeah just let's support our true parents and i might talk to you more when we discuss about the interreligious association how we also can in asia pacific yes. support it and have more you know interaction yes. on that level <laughs> so thank you yeah, so much is... <laughs> thank you was very nice of you all of us. But that's, see, with Ban Ki Moon, for example, so again, I'm scared. <laughs> see, it's, it's not easy to find that person anywhere. Ban Ki Moon, as I know, since he won the United Nations, they elect him as a general. It's, you know, it, it, it's a different person. He is so kind of. Also, he was love, you know, love in his heart for the uh, for the nations, for the people. Is it different? Mm -hmm. That for I think you know, it's not because of every for the uh, you know, United Nations general. But this this particularly gentleman, mm -hmm. when he used to be there, I love him honestly. Mm -hmm. You can feel. Yeah. When he speak, the way he talk, where he goes, all he you know, come around the world, he work for the people. You know, you can feel he is a special person. And mother moon, she know, mm. uh, she know, mm. she sacrifice to bring him into the world. I think there is a connection again. Hmm. Everybody, as I see now, anywhere, any country and language, the heart is talking. Yes. No, no heart. Yes. <laughs> How they tell me, Mr. Sobi, why don't you put your, you know, right here and then read? I say, no, I don't read. I don't want to read. Even in the United Nations, when I was, mm -hmm. The, you know, they come back. The uh, coordinator was with me. He said, "Show me how are, I'm going to open." He opened the laptop for me to ask. If I close it, I say, "I want to talk what I want to talk. Mm -hmm. I want to get something from my heart." Yes. When I talk, everybody, you know, even the you know the boss in the United Nations, she used to be, but she just want to hear what's this people coming, you know, <laughs> as a man dying in the United Nations, you know, what's this. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like they treat us like a country, you know, like a country. They give us the best position in the United Nations, the best seat, the country around us. It was a lot of country around. I talked and they know. So I think Mother Moon, honestly to God, God bless her and give her health always. And I wish to have a long, long life. Uh, she can serve more and more and we can help. Uh, she is one of the real, um, what should, how we say, it's a really mother of peace in this land. She has all the opportunity, you know, to give. She has the, the power also, God give her the power, of course, to do a good thing. She is giving it. Mm -hmm. She is doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. No one can say no. He cannot <laughs> yeah, whatever, like, you know, anyone, anyone cannot take one point wrong, always is yes, like our eyes, my eyes now on her. <laughs> yes, all Mandayan, same thing behind me, on her.
That's true. <laughs> and you all the same thing. Same feeling, believe me. Mm -hmm. I think even today when I sp spoke to uh, uh, David, uh, very nice, you know, she's like my son, you know. And I talked to him, he said, Mrs. Sobi, uh, these people, you have he heard a little bit. And then I talk, talk, talk. And I say, Mother Moon, Father Moon. He said, yes, I know. And then we talk the same way. <laughs> same way. There's millions of people here in this world. They love this way. And then we have mother, <clears throat> mother of peace. God bless her. <laughs> yes. And bless you all, of course, you know, all our friends and the people we meet, you know, all was just good. <laughs> the one, especially in UPF. Mm. I cannot believe this. <laughs> one way, as Mr. Stone, he said, he said, we have one, one, that it's it's one way we have it's <laughs> that you know there's a connection between our heart 100 mm -hmm. percent <laughs> honestly <laughs> i mean yeah, this is with my respect and love for all of you i don't know why you know that's it I mean, you know. yeah i do love the whole people in this world but you are a different <laughs> like uh, brother and sister and family i think yeah mm -hmm. no Thank you very much <laughs> listening to me. <laughs> Every minute I have to talk. I, <laughs> yeah. yes. I would like to hear from you, Takasan. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Tako. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm always exciting and very happy to meet everyone. And yeah, Mr. Sobi sharing and the all the yeah, development and activity. Yeah, when we see recently, because we can see the many challenging or difficulty in the every area of the world. And people even wish the peace, but really many peace is difficult to create. But really now, mother is reading as the central axis, the all really God person or righteous person easy to connect now and want to contribute and want to work together. That's why those gathering, of course, Father Moon, Mother Moon invest for a long time but very this within few years, suddenly very top leader start to come and appear to contribute for peace. That's why really how much God wish us seriously. So now really time period is important. We really collect, connect, invite many righteous people to come together to make peace quickly. That's why now really we could see many changing great things. That's why. Mr. Sobi also come together and our whole group come together. So now is the really change and we felt different era. So we are grateful or everyone work together as a team, as the family. Mm -hmm. And yet we can uh, really offer the happiness, our God, our heavenly parents. So today also really appreciate and really we have to do many things to do. So we have a really great, we have a confidence with you and all brothers and sisters and leaders together as the family. So today is also gathering. And now many things happen, those things really inspired. So I'm happy to see everyone. And also when I talk with Mr. Sobi this, this time, your mother prepare well. And you said, even one dark things is not having before going to the spiritual world. 100 pure heart, 100 pure body, and prepare and go to the next world. Mm. So this kind of things is really God's wish mm. and message to each of us. So really we could, I'm so much inspired our uh, Mr. Sobi sharing. I also have to learn more and we have to also share <coughs> these things. We have to be 100% pure before going to the next world. Yes. So really our role, our responsibility is really important. Mm. So I want to really do together with Mother Boon, Father Boon, and everyone together to change this world to make peace. And yeah, thank you really to giving this time. Thank you very much. <laughs> very good. Thank you. So maybe Mrs. Sarah, please be. I completely forgot. I was so excited. I forgot that I'm the MC. Completely. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. again. laughs>
<laughs> no, anyway, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. And really, I'm always so amazed with Mr. Sobi's heart and feedback where our minds and our hearts come together. So maybe because Greg didn't have much chance of uh, sharing, so I'll ask him to give the closing prayer. <laughs> <laughs> so you can share through closing, <laughs> through praying. Okay, please, uh, please let us pray together. <clears throat> uh, our dear heavenly parent, uh, thank you so much that we can meet here. Uh, we feel uh, so close. We know that you, you are our creator. You are our heavenly parent. And we are your children and you're wanting so much to bring peace to this world and that you're and share your heavenly love as a parent with all of us. We pray that we can always become closer and closer and that we can we can be able to work powerfully at this time. The world is in <clears throat> still in a lot of uh, turmoil and many, many difficulties, but also there's a, there's tremendous hope. So uh, Please guide us to be able to work beyond boundaries, beyond differences, and be able to work uh, centered on Mother, uh, who's leading leading the way to bring the peaceful reunification of North and South Korea, which will be such a milestone. And then uh, the whole world, bring peace to the world, to end uh, the grief and the suffering of humanity, to be able to bring <clears throat> all people up uh, and to be able to you to come and live with us as you originally intended. Thank you so much for this sharing today. And uh, we pray we can have uh, ongoing uh, sharing and be able to uh, work powerfully for your kingdom. Thank you. And I pray in the name of Greg and Reiko, Stone Blessed Central Family, Aju. 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 That's very nice. Aju. <laughs> Thank you so much. So we look forward to meeting again. <laughs> Oh, yes, I can't wait to meet to get face to face. Oh, yes. This is good. Okay. Also, thanks God we have this, but we need to be together face to face. Yes. That's a different feeling. Yes. A lot yes. of different. I'm yes. lucky I got Mr. Stone here, I got Mr. Otako there, and Mr. John. I'm lucky. When they come to me, I feel, oh, it's a different, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we pray. I hope so. You know, the world will be in better position. And they open the road so we can come and share. When we help, we talk, we meet people, we talk to them about UPF. Very important. Yes. yes. <laughs> also, thank you, Dr. Kittel. <laughs> thank you. And now your night is over, right? <laughs> Go and get some rest, Dr. Kittle. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, he looked look beautiful. He looked very nice. <laughs> <laughs> he looked very in <laughs> Thank, <laughs> no, no. Thank you. The <laughs> last time I've seen him, he was very tired, really tired. But yeah. now he's beautiful. Back to, again, you know, to yeah, fresh and beauty. So, yeah. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> yeah, you too. You look yeah. happy and joyful and clear-minded, clear-hearted. Um, <laughs> yeah. I was nice to see you. My mother passed away, believe me. Uh, yeah. Kind of what we done for her, I'm so happy. There's nothing in my mind I haven't done it for her. Nothing in my heart and nothing I haven't done it for her. Mm. So mm. yeah, I done everything I can. That for I I'm so relaxed. Mm. Yeah, I don't feel guilty one out of one million percent. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Very important. Very important thing. Yeah. I mean, whatever you do, if one percent you haven't done, you mm. still feel guilty inside. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You say why I haven't done this. Every single thing cross my mind, I done. Even <laughs> crazy. Honestly, Ohara. Even crazy things. Good. Because we want to take her from the hospital. I said to the doctor, come here. 
I say, can I pay like if you leave her one one day more, you know, if you give her one more day alive, I'll pay you one million dollar. Oh. Honestly, <laughs> he said he loved. He said, Mrs. Sobi, not you and not anyone else can do this. I said, yes, I know that. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, maybe there is a something. Maybe we can do something. You know, nothing, fine. And then she wants, and then she's happy. She come home, relaxed, done everything she wants. Clean, clean clothes, everything. We done all the ceremony. Everybody was there. Oh, my God. Her family, like around 400 people, only very close to her. Great, great grandchildren and children and daughters and brothers and sisters. <laughs> all, they always been there for four days, you know, day and night, watching her house. They say bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, each one, one one. So she was very, very good, you know. Thanks God, I'm so glad, you know. I hope everybody, you know. No suffering will go from this because she was asking me. She said, "Mom, if one day I want to go to, you know, up to my father, I just want to go with no suffering." Oh. That's what she said. She said, "I don't want to suffer. I just want to go quick, quick." <laughs> and she got it. <laughs> After I brought her home, she got it. Yeah, she did. Not yeah. even a pain or something like you know. Every time they come, doctors in her head, you know, always there to us. And three sisters, they coming from the hospital. No pain, no pain. Thank you, thank you. Bye bye, bye bye. That's it. Wow. 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 <laughs> Big blessing. That's why I'm happy. Yes. yes. Yes, because we all go, but we go on the right way. No problem. Mm -hmm. I hope, you know, everybody will mm -hmm. be the same, you know. I pray for everybody to be the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We will let you in Australia set the next time and place, right? You'll work yes. that out and then inform us accordingly. I'll let you know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. we look forward to that. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you very yeah, much. We... Everybody take care. God bless you all. And then, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And see you soon. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. See you next time. Thank Bye. you.